A lot of people talk, and most don't know what they're talking about. But when it comes to the word of God, those who know, do know. There's fire in the chat. What's like my brothers and sisters? This is none other than your brother XL Webber, your mid-Atlantic banner, and your world war champion at the same darn time with something I like to call fire in the chat. That's where we take the biblical principles, break them down brick by brick, and give you the heat rocks from the rock, God Almighty. In Psalms 8, 4, we're going to today, it says, Who is mankind that you are mindful of them? And human beings that you care for them? Now, this is the psalm that's talking to God, asking him these questions like, why is man so special? Because before this, he's talking about the skies, the stars. You made all these great things, God. Why do you care about someone like me? Why is man in such a, a privileged position, so to speak? So to answer that question, which a lot of us probably ask too, like, God, why do you care so much about me when there's so many people I feel are more deserving than me? He spells it out right after that. He's like, he made us. He made us. Not only in his moral image, but he made us and he crowned us to be rulers over everything under our feet. So when you realize that this is God's promise and this is the purpose that God made us for, it helps you understand why God is so mindful of us and cares for us. Because God is focused on his purpose for us. When you have something you have a purpose for, and you have something that you have a responsibility to, or someone you have a responsibility to, your focus is there. You care about that thing. You nurture that thing. You make sure that thing or that person or that place or that event has every bit of your attention that it needs to be successful, to be something of an accomplishment. You, and that's what God is looking at when he looks at us. He looks at us as a sense of accomplishment for himself because he made us for his glory. He made us in his moral image. He's like, hey, let me take... Let me take what's best about me and put it in a form to where they can experience this too. Now, of course, all of us ain't gonna get it off the back, but that's why we have things like this, fire in the chat, digging in the word, figuring out what it is God's trying to tell us and listening to it attentively in our daily lives. Take that fire, flame up, blessings and all. Burn.